Hi hey everybody, it's me again. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to put everything together and we're going to show you how to manually instrument Java applications with OpenTelemetry. Now yesterday, we went through a little bit of the logging, so that's where we can start. So we've got a, a Spring Boot application here, and we've actually added in the bits now, not just for logging, but also for tracing and metrics, right? So if you have a look here at my Spring Boot application inside the main method, We've added, uh, we've added tracing. The setup is very, very similar to how you do it for, uh, for logging. So we bootstrap the uh, open telemetry SDK in the main method, and then we run the Spring Boot application afterwards. Pretty easy to do. So if you want to have a look at that, you certainly can do. Uh, check out the GitHub repository link in the, uh, in the post there. So yeah, main method, bootstrap code for open telemetry, start the Spring Boot application. Now, after you've got that, we've got our, uh, our servlet in here that is essentially recommending favorite movies, if you remember from yesterday. And what we've done here is inside this Hello World method, we've got a new span here, which we're calling Hello World after the method. We make that that span current. We add an event in here, um, and then we set the status to OK, and we end the span, and we close off the scope. So there's a little bit of uh, open telemetry happening here. So for those of you who don't know, like a span is is kind of uh, the start and end of a span is something that you want to time. That's kind of interesting. So it might be the start and the end of a method might be the start and the end of a particular block of code that you want to measure, all sorts of things that you might like to, to essentially measure, you can do it within a span. And then you can have child spans that measure, you know, the start and end of events that happen inside uh, a peering event, for example. And we can add attributes and other things along the way, which we can then use in Elastic to create dashboards if we want to. So if we wanted to get a count of how many times the method is called, um, or we wanted to essentially get some business data out there, like the amount of money that's being spent at the moment in the shopping cart, we could do that and pull it into uh, into Elastic and, and graph it and use it for machine learning and things like that. So very simple Spring Boot application. Bootstrap to code here to set up the open telemetry SDK, set up some spans over here uh, once that has all been set up. Also, one other thing I forgot to mention yesterday, if you're doing logging with open telemetry, you will need to add the open telemetry appender that you can see here. Uh, but apart from that, very simple. We've got it bootstrapped. We, we set up our config code here. We've created some spans, we've created some attributes to get some information, some interesting information out of there. Um, and finally, we set up log back to append to the open telemetry appender. So that's everything we need to do, really. So now what we can do is we can fire up the application and give this a try. So we're going to go over to, to Elastic, as we normally do, and we click on Add Data, and we go in here, and we click on open telemetry and we add the endpoint and the and the header as an environment variable. Remember, you can see in the code where I'm actually setting that up over here. You can see the endpoint getting configured here and the secret token getting configured here. So what I can do is is I can uh, essentially set those up as environment variables. Pretty easy to do. So we could do, you know, essentially as we did yesterday with PowerShell, we set up environment variables with this dollar ends uh, and in the colon start, uh, type of uh, syntax. So we set that up, the secret token, the endpoint, and uh, now all we need to do is run our application. So we can just run this, uh, this favorite application here, Spring Boot, starting up, very nice. We can then go in here and check out the Hello World. We can run that a few times. And then we can actually come into Elastic and we can see in here in APM, 
that the service should eventually appear. Might take a little while just to just to appear in here. In fact, we do we do have it over here. So yeah, pretty easy. There's there's the latest transaction over here. You can see the one that I just put through the system. Um, that Hello World transaction actually took a lot longer the second time. So uh, yeah, let's change the time range so we do the like like today. Yeah, and then we've got um, big spike here in the number of transactions. That's probably because I refreshed it a number of times, right? Um, but yeah. So now we have the ability to see the transactions that have been running. We can see the number of, uh, there we go, there's the transactions. We can see the, num the transactions that have been running, this Hello World transaction. Um, and we can see, you know, very quick, right? So uh, it's only taking three or four milliseconds, which is hardly a surprise. And then we might be able to see some of these attributes that we, we set in here. So there we go, there we have it. We've got our uh, open telemetry manual instrumentation of our Java application up and running, and we've got our transactions coming through in Elastic, as you can see here. Very, very nice. All right, so what are you waiting for? Get your Java applications instrumented with open telemetry. Point them at Elastic, away you go.